Bristol Motor Speedway in Bristol, Tennessee is the location for stop number 25 on the Casual TTX Cup Series. As we are set for 75 laps of action on this .533 mile bull ring that is this racetrack. And here's the starting lineup for today's running event. On the pole for this race, it is Nathan Orman, the number 18 Interstate Barriers Pontiac. He is alongside car number 90, that's James Sykes, in the, in the, in the, excuse me, in the Hollick Myers Ford. Second row has number 4, William Brock, and number 17, Roberto Crown Jr. Third row, Dylan Poteet, and, seven, and tw number 22, and number 25, that is the car of James Henry. Going to the fourth row is Joshua Osborne, and number 20, and number 43, Mike Becker. Next row, number 5, has number four, 33, that is Matt McIntyre. He's alongside number five. That's Phil Parker, the Raging Cajun, as he's known as. Next row down is car number 31. That is Daniel Bouchard. He's alongside number 10. That is Phil Parker driving that car. Or no, no scratch, scratch it. Number 10 is Paul Minnick. Excuse me, not Phil Parker. Phil Parker's in car number five. <clears throat> and Paul Minnick is in number 10. So Minnick's the one starting alongside Bouchard. Next row is number 75, Jesse Turner, the winner at Talladega this season, the second Talladega race. He's alongside Zachary Fitzwater in number 29. Next row has number 94, Jessica Shelton, and number 40, <clears throat> that is Zach Winkle, the Daytona 500 champion. Next row down has number 44, Seth Kohler, winner at the Brickyard 400 this season, and number 7, Allison Rain. Next row down has number 99, Levi McIntyre, and 21, Quentin Moore, the 600 winner at Charlotte. Next row down has number 26, Ryan Brommer, and number 1, Trent Dunham. He won the first Pocono race this season. Next row has number 6, has number six Zach Rogers, and number 98, that is, excuse me, that is um, Laura Chung driving that car. Rogers, the winner twice this season, he won at at North Wilkesboro and Watkins Glen this season. Next row, Charles Sanford, number 24, the winner at Sonoma. He's alongside number 87, Aaron Macklin. Next row down has number 92, has number 42, excuse me, Kyle Matthews, and number 41, that's John Andrews. Matthews won her twice this season. He won a second poke in a race. He's also won this season at the first double race. Next row down has number two, Dylan Young, and number 30, Ryan George. Next row has number 30, Cole Beaver, and number 16, Rob Evans. Next row down has number 15, Alex Miller, and 28, Kat Batson. Next row down has number 88, that's Keith Batson, Kat's husband. He's alongside number 81, Muhammad Abdullah. Next row down has number 23, that is Daniel, G uh, number 33, that is 23, excuse me, that is Wes McCoy, and number 71, Daniel Gatrock. Starting shotgun is 37, Dylan Abrahamian, and number 36, Summit Oscon. So that's your starting lineup for today's race here at Bristol Motor Speedway. As we are set for 75 laps of short track mayhem here today on the, on the world's fastest half mile. So with that all said here, here's the command of fire the engines for tonight's running of the, of the Bush 500. Man giving the party inches as the thunder roars over the over the hills of northeastern Tennessee as the field rolls off a pay pit road for the pace up. We'll be back for the start right after this. Field rounding through turns number three and four. Nathan Orman and James Sykes are leading down the start finish line. Pace car ducks off on the pit road. And let's go short track racing on a night time at Bristol. Green flag waves were underway in the Bush 500. William Brock moves to the low side, looks to take the lead away from Nathan Orman on the first side, and he will do so. Orman sets to walk him out that fourth corner. And it's William Brock leading black number one, and at number four, Kodak Gnome Chevrolet. Joshua Osborne moves to the inside. He's, he's looking a little racy here. And at number 20 car, he's at the third position right now. And yellow flag will fly for the first time here today as Dylan Poteet 
I think. Nope. Brock actually led him back to the start finish line. Poti just actually passed him. And on, it's Rob Evans upside down in the number 16 Family Channel Ford. <clears throat> Let's take a look at what happened on the sec on the and um, and lap number and lap number two. Dylan Abrahamian, Ryan George, um, Evans, and Cement Oscar kind of looks like. Cement goes right into uh, uh, the Abrahamian. Oh, look at that. He and Ryan George both got up in the wall ride on the catch fence. And Ryan George, barrel roll, barrel roll, doot the barrel, barrel roll. <laughs> barrel rolls down the down through turns number three and four. Well, meantime, Rob Evans just sliding on his roof there, just all alone, obviously. And you got a, a good view of what the concrete looks like at uh, Bristol Motor Speedway, that is for sure. So, Rob Evans on pit road, obviously, as he as the crew tries to figure out what to do to that family channel Ford. And amazingly, uh, Dylan Abrahamian and Ryan George, both their cars are still rolling. Ryan making his way down pit road, and unfortunately, Ryan George is out of the race, along with the 16 of, um, well, 16 of, uh, Rob Evans is still on the racetrack here. There he is. He's already passed, uh, Ryan George, the, the, so Ryan, unfortunately, will, will be the dead last finisher here today at Bristol, sadly for him, and this race didn't even last but two laps, <laughs> unfortunately for him. Well, three, actually. And amazingly, Dylan Abrahamian is still running, despite the fact that he got up in the air as well, too, up through turns number three and four. As he, um, I mean, he and uh, Ryan George both got way high in the air. Pace cars lights are off there. You're riding on board with, with you're riding on board with Matt McIntyre, car number 33, 33 the Skull Bandit Chevrolet. He has one of our three in-car cameras in today's race here. Matt right now running in fifth position as, as he's running up ahead of running behind Nathan Foreman up ahead of him in fourth posi position. From Matt's point of view, let's take a ride and see what a restart looks like from his point of view as they go through turns three and four right now. And here's the view from inside Max from Matt McIntyre's car. Green flag flies. And on the gas goes Matt. And Poti got off the wall, come on turn number two. Matt had to take evasive action. In the meantime, Joshua Osborne took second from Nathan Ormond. And William Brock just took off like John Force on that restart. And he just flat pulling away. And oh, and Osborne and, and Evans, they both crash on the backstretch. And Seth Cole and Jesse Turner both crash as well, too, in turns over three and four. Paul Manick is in it. Charles Sanford. Oh, and everybody's going to get piled up. Osborne in, in that one, too. Rob Evans. Damage to the Alex Miller car. There's Laura Chung in it. Oh, careful, Brock. And Laura Chung just about swung right into William Brock's car. But on top right there for Jesse Turner, the 75 car. He was running top 10 when this all happened. Second caution flying on lap number 9 of this race. <laughs> Take a look as to what happened here as Joshua Osborne and um, Rob Evans got together. Osborne got off the wall, got into Evans' car. And into the wall, they both went right there on the back stretch here as as around goes both Evans and Osborne, but, the, but it wasn't over yet for those two. Because Jesse Turner and Seth Cole got together in turns three and in the turn number three. Just they passed Osborne. 
They were running 11th and 12th when this all happened, too. And, and then here comes everybody. Here comes Paul Minnick. Here comes Sanford. Allison Rain was in the crash. And everybody else just piling right in. Or should I say playing the game of where do I go? And I get there. Daniel Gatrock got turned. There's uh, where Chung and uh, Alex Miller both get in. Osborne gets into Seth Cement Oscon. Aaron Macklin in it. There's Rob Evans. He just center punches the back of the 87 of Aaron Macklin. Short track racing at Bristol. Pretty tough to beat. And meantime, you see, you saw uh, Alex Miller. He comes into pits and he's out of the race. As is also um, <clears throat> the 10 car of Paul Minnick. He's also out. And so several cars. Yeah, Charles Sanford is now out of the race in the 24 car. And Jesse Turner is out of the race as well, too, in the 75. So already five cars out of the race, and we're not even 15 laps into this race. Pace car is the pace car's lights are off, and we're about to get set for green flag racing here. Again, 16 of Rob Evans and the 36 of Cement Oscon not on the lead lap. They are they are right now. Um, Oscon is right now 32nd. Evans is 37th. Allison Reigns 33rd, and Muhammad Abdullah is 34th right now. As the green flag flies, lap number 16. <coughs> we're starting for the second caution flag of the day. Oh, and Poteek gets spun, gets spun in turns three and four. Levi McIntyre was also involved in the number 99 car. As meantime, Nathan Orman gets back around um, William Brock's car. We'll take a look at that crash as soon as we get the next caution flag of, uh, of the day. Brock and Orman both get off the wall, coming off turn number two. In the meantime, Oscon trying to find a way to um, to get around both Orman and Brock here. Both both Brock and Orman are slamming the wall, coming off turn number in the turn number three. And in the meantime. Oscon now gets off the wall, and now what? Daniel Bouchard is at the third position now. He, he he moves by. James Sykes is up there. James Henry in the 25 car. Matt McIntyre now getting around the five of Phil Parker. Roberto Crown Jr. in eighth position. Ninth is Ryan Brommer, and tenth is Kyle Matthews. As the yellow flag flies for the third time this set tonight. And it's time it's John Andrews and Dylan Abrahamian, looks like. There's John Andrews coming down pit road, the winner at California this season. The number 41 Kodiak Chevrolet. Caution flying on lap number 20 here at Bristol Motor Speedway. And this caution actually didn't involve, um, didn't start with uh, John Andrews. It started, I think, with, with Kat Batson in 28. As Dylan Abrahamian got off the wall right into Cat Batson's car. Osborne, I think we saw him out of the frame. He gets into the wall. John Andrews center punched the back of the 28 car of Cat Batson and sent her um, um, around. Meantime, let's take a look at back at earlier to see what happened to Levi McIntyre and Dylan Ye Dylan Poteet. This happened on the restart from the second caution flag of the day. Poteet was running ninth behind Jessica Shelton at the time. And Poteet just cut right in front of the 99 of, of Levi McIntyre. And sent them both into the wall right there. I'm sure Levi's going to have so want to have some words with Poteet over that one. And Levi right now running 28th in the order at this point. While Poteet, on the other hand, he is currently, well, he's out of the race. 
He's out of the race. So it's John Andrews, Charles Sanford, um, Alex Miller, Jesse Turner, Paul Minnick, and Ryan George. Those uh, already seven cars out of the race here, and we're and we're not even the th and we're and we're not even a third of a way through this race here at Bristol. We're already having three caution flights in the, in the state. That's a like I said, typical Bristol's what this is going to be here tonight here in the Bush 500. Lights in the pace car are off as we're set for, uh, as we're going to get set for restart from the third caution flag of the night. It is William Brock still leading, this, still leading this racer. He's left from the start so far. Second is Nathan Orman. Third is James Sykes. Fourth position right now is um, Daniel Bouchard. Fifth is James Henry. Sixth is Matt McIntyre. Seventh is Phil Parker. Eighth is Roberto Crown Jr. Ninth is Ryan Brommer and 10th in position right now is Kyle Matthews. That's how they run right now at this point. 36 car of Cement Oscon not on the lead lap as the green flag flies from back in the way. I don't know why he didn't start in the inside lane with the 16 car of, of um, Rob Evans. I don't know why he didn't. Sykes gets a little bit loose, come off that fourth turn right there as we, as we complete a lap under green. It's a miracle. And oh, and Brock off the wall. And Nathan Orman, the pulsar, goes to the lead. First lap, Nathan Orman is led tonight here at Bristol as he started from the pole. And he and Brock both got off the wall right there. And here comes Rob Evans to the left side. He's a lap car. But Matt McIntyre isn't, though. He's at the second place now. He's in the inside. Bill Parker, James Henry, Roberto Crown Jr. And, oh, and problems up the back stretch here. Brock's into the wall and takes, and Roberto Crown Jr. sits spinning. And he got up against the 26th car of Ryan Brommer, just about to turn himself around. No caution. Amazing. So right now it's it's right now it's Orman leading this race. Second is now Bill Parker. Third is James Henry. Fourth is now Kyle Menace. And and don't look now, but Jessica Shelton is up to fifth. Shelton going for the Bristol sweep. She won the day race at Bristol. She's trying for the night race win. She's got a really good car under the hood of that number 94 McDonald's Ford. Of course, then again, where doesn't she? And oh, and she she and Bill Parker got together right there. And, oh, big problems here. That is Oscon and Matt McIntyre's crashed. Wes McCoy involved. Aaron Macklin involved in the 87 car. Allison Rain, uh, Muhammad Abdullah. Oh, it's a, a bad crash here for Wes McCoy in the number 23 Smoking Joe's Ford, and that's going to be caution number four, I believe, tonight. Ugh, and that's a bad, that's an ugly crash right there for Oscon and Matt McIntyre. And boy, poor Matt McIntyre cannot catch a break, it seems like. He's been having some really good runs, but he can, but, but cannot manifest himself in the good, cannot manifest himself that way. And there's where Parker got on the wall, and, and Shelton gets into him. Ryan Brommer just about got spun in that 26 car. car. Quentin Moore got turned and got into the wall as well, too, and almost got Cole Deaver. But the attention was focused on that 36, 36 and 33 cars as they both crashed each other in the wall. Matt just pretty much had enough of Cement, says, there you go, Cement, you're into the wall. But Matt, that, that plan unfortunately backfired in Matt's face, and then... He gets in the wall and sends himself up and over, and uh, Wes McCoy just crashed right into him. Aaron Macklin involved. Keith Batson, I think, got a piece of the 87 car, but I think he's okay. Talking about Batson in the 88 car. Joshua Osborne almost got into another crash in that number 20 car for some reason. Boy, it's been crazy so far at Bristol, and we're, like I said, we're just barely a third of the way through this race so far. 
There is Roberto Crown Jr. running 26 right now. Joshua Osborne running in 25th. Both those drivers on the lead lap. On the lead lap. So Aaron Macklin is now is the latest retiree out of this race here. He will looks like looks like he will finish 30th in today's race here. Um, and also adding on to the list there, Matt McIntyre, Wes McCoy, and John Andrews, along with Poteet, Sanford, Miller, Turner, uh, Minnick, and Ryan George. So so far we have had so far 10 cars out of this race here. At Bristol, and we're uh, barely halfway through so far. We're, uh, is this will complete lap number 39. Green flag flies. Lap number 40 here at Bristol. 39 laps in the books and 36 laps remaining. James Henry in second position. There, Nathan Ormond is your leader. James Henry is in second. Third is Kyle Matthews and Matthews, and now Paul uh, Phil Parker's up the fourth position as the yellow flag flies for the fifth time tonight. And it's Daniel Gintrock, I think, in the 71 car this time that's crashed, along with Osborne. And actually, my mistake, Joshua Osborne did not crash in this in this in this, in this whole thing. But Daniel Gintrock did, and, and he got in, he got into it with Levi McIntyre coming on turn number two. Gatrock was running 21st when this all happened, and he gets in the, the 88, the 28 car, Cat Bats, and Keith gets in the wall right there, and Joshua stubs the 17 car of of um, Roberto Crown Jr., and Joshua's car stalled briefly. It looked like the 20 car just came to a dead stop. But Joshua managed to get his car to start back up and um, rejoin the fight. But for Daniel Gatrock, unfortunately, his car... Suffered a spin, and he is still in it, though. He's still at it, though. He's 25th right now in the number 71 Realtree Chevrolet. <clears throat> While Osborne runs 26th. <sighs> Getting set for another restart here to, from caution number 6 on the night at Bristol. We are 44 laps into the race. This, this will be lap number 45 completed. It'll be down to 30 to go when this race restarts on lap number 46. I don't think we're done wrecking yet here. As they're inside lane, again, are the lap cars of Rob Evans, Cement Oscon, Allison Rain, and the 81 car of Muhammad Abdullah. 30 cars remain in this race, and 26 of them on the lead lap. And again, it's Nathan Orman, the leader. Second is James Sykes, and Kyle Matthews, Matthews gets off the wall. Saves it though and holds off Phil Parker for the time being. Meantime, James Sly Henry is going for the lead. James Henry to the inside of Nathan Orman off turn number two. Orman and Henry and the leaders crash. Cement Oscar gets into it. Ryan Brommer. Everybody piles in there. Seth Cole's in it. And Nathan Orman just took the lead, and now Jessica Shelton is in second position in this race. It's happening on lap number 47, I think, in this race. I'm not sure. Lap, lap number 48. Well, James Sykes had a, had a James Henry had a really good run coming off turn number two. And they tend to run, 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 run way high on this track here tonight here. And Ormond had the outside groove as they come off to number two. This is battling for the lead here at Bristol. <clears throat> Ormond got off the wall. Henry got into Ormond. James Henry sends himself spinning. Ormond somehow stays at it. Cement Oscon in the 36 car. He tries to avoid the whole thing and he crashes. And... How did Kyle Matthews not center punch Nathan? Uh, center punch the 36 car it was beyond me. Matthews wasn't even in the crash at all. But poor Ryan Brommer, he gets involved. There's Allison Rain gets into the crash. Sykes missed it. Good driving on the part on his part. 
And there's Bouchard. He gets into it. And here comes Seth Cole, Zachary Bitswater, Trent Dunham. Got center punched in the back by the 71 car of Daniel Gatrock. Fitzwater and uh, Laura Chung. Really good job missing that crash here. And Kat Massey, you see, on the 28 car just came to a dead stop in the, in the Texaco Haviland Ford. Meantime, uh, Ryan Brommer in the 26 trying to get himself straightened back out and rejoin this race. And, good, and a tough break for Ryan Brommer. He was having a really good run. He was running six when this all happened. And James Henry was having a really good ride as well, too, in that 25 car. And he unfortunately has another one joined out of the join in the in the out of the race club here, as well as uh, William Brock, Mike Becker is out of the race here. James Henry's out of the race. <clears throat> so is Daniel Gutrock, Allison Rain, and Quentin Moore. So this makes us what? Let's see. My gosh. Getting set for the restart on lap number 52, and the, and the attrition count is 16 cars and counting right now. And that was caution number 7 tonight here, and I think we may see number 8 possibly. We'll see. Green flag back out. Nathan Ormick is a darn good start. He wants to get away from this whole thing, too. Can't blame him. And Shelton... Is in second position. Third is Phil Parker. Fourth is now Zach Winkle. And Cole Deaver is in fifth. Off to number four, they come here. And here comes Parker trying to move the inside of Rob Evans. Evans again is a lap down. And Shelton slams the wall. Come off to number two. Keeps it going. And now, but now here comes Zach Rogers and Keith Batson. The six of 88 cars. And Batson gets into it with. Muhammad Abdullah has another lap car right there in the sponge right there, and Abdullah almost gets in the back of Shelton, on the side of Shelton's car. Here comes Cole Deaver. He's running in eighth position right now, and the number three, Goodwin Chevrolet. He's gotten by James Sykes, and now Keith Batson up ahead, and on problems up ahead, I think. Nope. I thought somebody they were also I thought there was so there were also another I thought there was problems in the ahead and and caution number nine has flown right and number eight has flown and Oh and spinning like a top is lead by McIntyre and Cement Oscon is involved too in the thirty six car. Take a look again as to what happened and, and boys and yeah the third and the 99 car of, of Levi McIntyre. Let's see where he was at. Let's see where he's at. Let's see. Okay, it was Rob Evans who started the whole thing here. Evans and James Sykes. Evans got into the wall. Sykes got into it with uh, Ryan Brommer in the 26 car. Evans gets in. Evans gets into the inside wall. Now here, now watch Lee by McIntyre in car number ninety nine. He gets into it with Rob Evans there, and Levi goes up and over. He was running tenth when this all happened too. McIntyre was. <clears throat> And here comes Cement Oscon, just slam, just adds insult to injury, just slams in the back of McIntyre's car and, just, and sends Levi's car spinning on this roof like a top. <clears throat> Boy, and that is caution number eight tonight here at Bristol Motor Speedway, lap number 56. How many more cautions are we going to have tonight? Stay tuned and find out. Back at Bristol Motor Speedway as we're about to restart, restart on lap number 63 of the 75 lap race here from the 8th caution of the night. 
And you talk about your craziness here. 19 cars remain, and 16 of them remain on the lead lap. Muhammad Abdullah, Ryan Brommer, and the 16 car of Rob Evans are the cars that still are, are, are a lap or more down. Against Nathan Orman, your leader. Can he hold on to win his first race of the season? We'll find out. Bill Parker's also looking for his first as well, too, this season. The number five car. Green flag flies up 63 here at Bristol. <laughs> and Jessica Shelton's around. Car number 94. Shelton around in car number 94. She jumped on board with the number nine, uh, the, with the McDonald's Ford. And just driving like a woman P.O.'d right now. And if you hear, and oh, and Bill Parker got turned by Ormond! Parker just took the lead and led that lap and it gets spun by Nathan Ormond. Still no caution. Here comes Ro Zach Rogers, car number six. He looks for the lead. Matthew's in third and Keith Batson in fourth. And Matthews gets off the wall, so does Batson. Those two, those two along with Zach Rogers looking for a third picture of the season, and Rogers takes the lead in car number six. Here comes Orman back to the low side. Nine laps to go. And Rogers gets off the wall. Here comes Orman on the outside. And here comes Kyle Matthews. He's not done getting the number 42 car. Matthews the second. And Rogers gets on the wall. Here comes Matt Matthews. He's next to the inside. He almost gets into Ormond. And that's going to let Rogers pull away for the time being. Boy, who is going to be the Salon? Who's going to be the last survivor here at Bristol? That's going to be the question. Rogers takes it, takes it off turn number four. Six laps to go. And here comes Zach, Zach Winkle looking, looking for his second victory of the season. He won the Daytona 500. And Orman, ooh, he almost got turned. He gets into Batson. Batson and Dylan Young crash. Dylan Everhemming gets into Batson's car. Caution number 10. Or number 9, excuse me. Caution number 9 flying on lap number 70. Unflippin' believable. Keith Batson, who was running in fifth position, he gets he gets he gets he gets hit by Nathan Orman in the 18 car, sends him right into Dylan Young, and it sent the turn and it sent them both in the turn three. Batson upside down, Dylan Young sent into the wall. Young got hit by the 90 car James Sykes, and Sykes just missed Batson's car. But Dylan Abrahamian didn't in that 37 machine, and Cat Batson did a darn good job missing the crash here. Rob Evans got underneath Batson's car. A good race right there to the line between Zachary Fitzwater and Jessica Shelton. But boy, poor Keith Batson. When it rains, it pours for him. Sometimes a two timer this season looking for his, was looking for his third win this season. And it all fell down for that number 88 quality care Ford. And I don't believe we're gonna get and I don't believe we're gonna get this race restarted here at Bristol. We are on lap number 73. <sighs> but nine caution flags have flown here tonight at Bristol, and I think that was the ninth and last one because I think this race is gonna end under yellow. And Kyle Matthews just took the lead from from Zach Rogers. Let's take a look at it again as to what happened. They were coming to the line for the, to, for the. They were coming to the line, and Rogers. I thought. I thought my. Ha I thought my. I had this race one. Here comes Matthews to the low side. Got a. Got, got a real good run in turn number three, and just zips by the number six Valvoline Ford as the yellow flag flew. He and Kyle knew the yellow flag was flying, and maybe the end of the race. 
Rogers made a try at it, come out to come out the caution flag, but Matthews holds him off of the start finish line. And that and that I think just sealed the deal here. Kyle Matthews is gonna be the first three time winner of the season. He won it, as we mentioned, at Dover. He also won it at the at the second Pocono race this season. And now he's about to get a win here at Bristol, barring if uh, barring anything unusual happening which this track has been known to do under yellow as a matter of fact too but the yellow and white flags have both weighed Zach, and, Zach Rogers is going to come home second Zach Winkle the 40 car up the finish in third it's going to be third in this race excellent job by the number 40 Kendall Motorola team the Daytona 500 champions this season, this season. Uh, so, great run by, by one of the underdogs in the field, Nathan Ormond, uh, who, had a, who had a really good run. I thought he I thought he had a shot at winning this race here today. He ends up finishing fourth. Daniel Bouchard comes on fifth. Cole Deaver, sixth. Joshua Osborne, damaged up and all, finishes seventh. And, he, and he'd been in every crash on the man. Laura Chung, eighth. Ninth, Phil Parker. Tenth, the Cat Batson. Eleventh, is Zachary Fitzwater. And twelfth is going to be... Uh, Ryan is going to be Muhammad Abdullah as the yellow as the yellow checker flags wave, and Kyle Matthews wins the Bush 500 here at Bristol. <clears throat> so what a what a crazy ending that was here. And check this out here. Let's check the attrition list here, guys. 28 cars out of this race. And the last ones were Dylan Young, Keith Batson, Dylan Abrahamian, James Sykes, and with a header failure or an engine failure for all intents and purposes, Jessica Shelton has a header failure, uh, is out of race with an engine failure. And she still ends up finishing 13th in this racer. Unflippin' believable, guys. So, average speed in this race, 58.333 miles per hour. Not much of a race here at Bristol. It was a nine-caution slugfest. Or should I say a dirt fest in some ways, too, but... But 12 cars finished this race, and 11 of them were on the lead lap. <coughs> Here. So again, your top, your, again, your 12 finishers, Kyle Matthews, Kyle Matthews, Zach Rogers, Zach Winkle, Nathan Orman, Dana Bouchard, Cole Beaver, Joshua Osborne, Laura Chung, Phil Parker, Kat Batson, Zachary Fitzwater, and Muhammad Abdullah was the last of the, was the finishers in today's race here. There are 28 of the 40 starters were, were involved in a crash, spin, or a mechanical failure. And only one fell out, fell out with a mechanical failure, and that was Jessica Shelton. The rest of them were all crashes. Look, and that's the, this is the attrition list alone, and check and see where you will finish here today in, the, in today's race. As I'll give the promos here, if you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe to, this, to the Internet Series Sports and Gaming channel. We got we got in our races. So we, we got gaming videos. We got in our online videos. Whatever the president of the end of the series, Seth Cole desire, desires to have for his channel. Be sure to check out Seth's store sell cup series, which is also on this channel. It's the main series on the channel. And please check out Seth's cup series over mine. I guarantee you, it's it's a whole lot better. <laughs> uh, judging after what happened tonight, I will definitely say that. <laughs> But uh, anyway, uh, but if you want in on next season of Seth's Star Cell Cup Series, be, be, be sure to get with Seth, and he will get you going on that whole thing. Also, be sure to check out our other two series. That is, uh, subscribe, subscribe to our other two channels that does in the CR offline series. Those channels being um, those channels being X eight six seven five three nine eight five eight X. That's Dylan Young's channel. He's the man that does the in the CR uh, Spectrum Bubble Cup Series. And also, be sure to check out um, Levi McIntyre's channel. That's Thrash Maniac ninety nine. He's the guy that does the he's the guy he's the guy that does the in the series Marvel Studios Cutters. They both got some cool stuff on their channels as well too. So be sure to give them both the sub again. That's X eight six seven five three nine eight five eight X, and 
a channel for Ash Maniac 99. So, so that's your promo here. And for and uh, so that will do it here today at Bristol Motor Speedway in, in the Demolition Derby. I mean the Bush 500. <laughs> and congr congratulations once again to Kyle Matthews, the winner here in today's race. The first the first three time winner season so far this season, as it as hard as that is, it is to believe here today. So that, so that will do it here today. For now, this is James Qualls, a production of the NFC Race, celebrating 10 years of off-line racing, racing at its best. We'll see you at the Mountain Dew Southern 500 at Darlington.